All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the structural tubing mod which is being made by forum user Drunken Kerbalot. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a selection of structural components to allow you to ruggedize your vessels. And I love this mod. I mean, come on, who hasn't wanted to take their best Dooner buggy and actually build around it a proper roll cage. Well, with this mod, you can actually do just that. So let's jump right on into the space plane hangar and have a gander at what all we have here. So we're going to do things a little bit differently. So rather than grabbing a command pod, we're just going to go straight down to structural and grab a two by two metal panel, lay that flat, and then zoom in. And then, of course, we're going to put up into the search bar here the manufacturer for these parts, which is. DK salvage and as you can see we have eight lovely different structural tubing parts and I love each and every one of them now I'm hoping that as time progresses we'll get a few more pieces in here as there's a couple of them that I can think off the top of my head like a uh, t-bar or something like that that would be very handy to have but for the time being we have these eight now the first one here is the structural tubing H hub which as you can see has a four different attachment points and is, well, an H. There we go. A very useful part when you're trying to connect two different sections of your roll cage together. Very useful indeed. And as you can see, uh, by the on the 2x2 two two plate, it's, uh, you know, not the largest piece in the world. But then again, your primary reason for using these is to build roll cages. So they are meant for rovers. So they are not definitely going to be the largest pieces possible. The next one we have is a simple one meter tube, which if we pop that on, we should be able to, to uh, surface attach it there we go beautiful a one meter tube for you to just get a nice straight segment we then have a similar five meter tube which what the heck we'll just put it straight through the thing excellent there we go so just five times the length of that one we then have the elbow 180 which as you can see is a basic sort of arch bit here which is very handy for doing like a front nose bit to your roll cage or something along those lines. We then have the elbow 45 degree, which is nice for getting yourself a bit in between the 180 and the later 90. We'll have a look at momentarily just so you can have a different angled part. It's very useful to have. And let's see if we can. Oh, it's kind of in the center there. What the heck? We'll put it out to this. Actually, you know what? So we can get a good look at it. We'll move the H off. There we go. Then grab you and you right in the center there we go so a nice little piece just going off at a 45 degree angle and then anything you attach onto that say such as an h hub if we bring this thing back we'll attach at that 45 degree angle making it very very useful let's pop this over here and then bring out the elbow 90 degree short which is just a very very tiny little piece if i can get it to the right orientation that we need Oh, nope, I did not. I put it somewhere weird. There we go. Of course, it never wants to cooperate with me. And there we are. Excellent. A very tiny little 90 degree angle here part. Uh, not going to be big, but of course, meaning that you can use it to get a nice tighter angle. Whereas we also have another 90 degree one here, which if we just kind of move this one over to the side... As you can see, this one is meant to be a bit bigger, so to make it for a nice bumper or something like that, whereas this, you know, just a nice tight angle somewhere else in your design, just whichever way you'd like to go. And the next one we have is a technically a 45 degree angle thing, but it kind of goes back on itself, so if we actually pop that there, move you over here, and actually properly bring, there we go, that works. So it kind of goes straight, kicks off to 45 degrees and then goes back 45 degrees straight again. So you can see that you have the attachment point on the top and bottom. And so it's quite interesting to sort of, you know, just move out your roll cage a bit. A very useful part indeed. And you can have a lot of fun designing with these things. Now that is all eight of the current parts. Now I should mention, I don't have it installed, but if you do have the FS texture switch mod installed as well, you will be able to actually change the textures on these. 
except for the H. Apparently at the moment there's a problem with the H, but all the other ones should work with the texture switch mod. I don't have it installed though because, well, frankly, I, I like the standard color of these roll cage pieces. It's quite nice. And yeah, you just mix and match all of these different parts into whatever you can create. Now let us look at my typical monstrosity that I throw together for these episodes. Normally, again, whatever I create is just to show you what is kind of possible, but is typically some sort of horrible, horrible monstrosity that I made in a couple of minutes. So here we are. We have a really weird truck, which follow me here on the design. I started out in the back using those uh, sort of 45 degree elbow pieces, these ones right here, to try and make like a little enclosure bit for the back of the truck, and was even able to put the solar panels on the angled bits, basically to kind of create some sort of a roof to protect any kerbals back here and then at the front i honestly don't know what in the world i was thinking look at this weird roll cage it starts there kind of goes around loops towards the capsule then back up and away and then for some reason i added the five meter bar to bring it back around over here <laughs> i honestly have no idea what i was thinking when i made this but again it's just a generic idea of what you could create so you can see you can actually get some pretty good detailing with me putting angles all over the place. I mean, it basically loops around itself here and then straight to the back. Or you could actually create something useful like this little uh, roofed enclosure bit for the rear end of the uh, truck. So let's just take this thing out on the go at the runway just to see it move about and get a little bit better of a look at it. And just imagine all the interesting th Oh, I did not connect that properly to anything. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew I forgot something. I meant to actually connect it into like down here, but didn't. And now we just have this wobbly bar at the back. But with the wobbly bar, if you ignore that, you can see the lovely enclosure that I first made, which actually makes sense. The rest just doesn't, especially this front bit. I honestly have no idea what I was thinking when I made that. But imagine if you took your time and, you know, had talent, you could create some very interesting actual proper roll bars and roll cages around your rovers. I like the, if you just go to the mod page, which of course, link in the description of the video as always, the one and only image on the mod forum post has a pretty cool little roll cage for a rover with two different seat cards parts in it, uh, just to give you a fun idea of the sort of things you can do, or you can create this wobbly monstrosity that I've produced for some strange reason if that's your thing. Whatever floats your boats, my friend, whatever floats your boat. Uh, but yeah, that is the structural tubing mod. Not really a whole lot to go over. Eight different parts, you can use them to build whatever you desire, or well, whatever you could get this close. You know, honestly, I like the back of the truck. I like that I it kind of like kicked it out, made the walls with the solar panels and then I don't know what I was thinking with this wobbly bit but there we go we have a wobbly bit and that that is what I've done for some strange reason but yes that is again the structural tubing mod if you would like to check it out for yourself which I definitely would suggest you go and do you can take a look at the link in the description as always and uh, go check it out have some fun with it make some really cool awesome crafts because well frankly I'm hoping you guys can make some much better stuff than I can and well honestly I'm betting that that is going to be the truth and yeah go show them off if you do build anything cool, I would love to see it. Tweet me or Facebook me a picture of it. I would find it quite entertaining to see what you guys build. But other than that, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today. And of course, that you do come back for the next episode when we will be looking at what hopefully is yet another wonderful mod, which possibly isn't quite so wobbly. We'll find out. But that is for next episode. Hope you will come and join me then. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.